13 on your side starts now. Good evening. Thank you so much for choosing to be with 13 on your side tonight. I'm Scott Gross. A long Labor Day weekend and nice weather brought many people out to local lakes and rivers, but as 13 on your side's April Hedinger reports in the peak of dove hunting season, this was a very popular weekend to make a splash at Martinez Lake. It was a crowded but calm weekend at Martinez Lake. The Yuma County Sheriff's Office says no one was cited for driving a boat under the influence. This is the Yuma County Sheriff's Office Boat Division. YCSO's Martinez Lake Subdivision is responsible for boating and water sports safety. On Labor Day weekend, most people seem to be on their best behavior. But if we see uh, the children wearing their life jackets and stuff like that, sometimes we'll have prizes for them just to encourage them to wear their life jacket. The reason you're getting this is because you're wearing your life jackets, and I really yeah. appreciate that. While deputies are also making sure nobody is drinking and driving, Adults, kids, and families are celebrating on their day off. Wanted to come out here for Labor Day. Yeah, we big weekend. Had a bunch of friends out here, and the water's really nice. It's close. It's a lot of water. And it's good people to meet. Good yeah. place to hang out. They were tubing. It's pretty fun. Pretty sick. All the sandbars are up and <clears throat> ready to accept all of us, and we're having a good time meeting some people that are out here. And kids got a new slide. Dove hunting season also attracted out-of-state tourism to the lake. This is like, kind of like the last tour off, you will. Um, it's Labor Day weekend. It's the last big holiday weekend for the summer. Um, so a lot of people are coming out. Um, dove hunting in the mornings, coming out on the river in the, in the evenings. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit bigger than a normal weekend, but still manageable. On our ride along, we found the patrol boat is basically a floating cruiser and is equipped with lights and sirens, a public announcement intercom, Dispatch communication system and a GPS map. There's features on here that will actually scan down underneath the boat and give us a clear picture of what's down underneath. There are two full time deputies that patrol the lake. Typically, they are out all day from Friday through Sunday. Reporting from Martinez Lake, April Hedinger, 13 on your side. With COVID cases on the rise, many people are once again starting to stock up on daily necessities. Some stores, like Sam's Club, are working hard to limit the number of items a customer can take. One Sam's Club employee said the shelves were empty just a day before restocking. Costco is also re-implementing purchase limits. At the height of the pandemic last year, toilet paper was the highest in demand. One shopper says she's not going to panic again. I think they're getting paranoid again. I'm not going to do it this time. <laughs> there was a ration last time and people had excessive amount of items and didn't leave any for the everyday people, so I'm not doing it. So far, sanitizing products such as disinfecting wipes, spray, and bleach are still available in reasonable amounts. Other items have been out of stock periodically as well, including certain brands of soup and oat milk. This brings us to our question of the day. Do you notice a difference? 71% of you said yes, and 29 said no. The CDC says there have been more than 40 million confirmed coronavirus cases in the U.S. since the pandemic began, along with over 651,000 deaths. Both numbers have risen steadily in recent weeks. Skylar Henry has a story from Washington. As Americans gather to celebrate Labor Day, officials brace for another possible COVID-19 surge. It troubles me that we somehow have decided this is over and the Delta variant now is surging across America. Despite the rise in cases, airports were still busy this holiday weekend. Kind of made our plans to where we were pretty much not going to be in big crowds and uh, social distance pretty good. From coast to coast, fans packed stadiums as the college football season got underway. More than 70,000 saw Notre Dame beat Florida State in Tallahassee on Sunday. A day earlier, a similar sized crowd was on hand as UCLA defeated LSU in Pasadena. Experts say infections have tended to rise after major holidays. The good news is that uh, we're not seeing a lot of breakthrough hospitalizations or deaths, but we are seeing breakthrough cases and breakthrough long COVID. The U.S. is now averaging more than 150,000 new COVID-19 cases a day. That's the highest it's been since its peak in January. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. 
And a very good Labor Day to all of you across the desert southwest. Hope you enjoyed your day today. The temperatures are still quite high. We're at 91 degrees currently in Yuma as we take a quick look outside. In the RV world of Yuma Skycam, beautiful view of downtown. We still have some of those gusty winds out there. Again, anywhere between 10 and 25 miles per hour. They will start to die down as we get into the morning hours right around, I would say, breakfast time. You'll start to see them in the single digits. As you look up, uh, you've got clear skies as well. So a great night to do some stargazing if you want to on this holiday. Coming up in your first alert forecast, we'll talk more about bringing the heat. Yeah, we're going to get a lot warmer here the next couple of days. Clear nights begin tonight. How much longer will we have them? And a fantastic viewer weather photo to share with you. All of this coming up in just a little bit. President Biden will get a first-hand look tomorrow at flood and tornado damage in New York and New Jersey. More than 50 deaths have been confirmed in the Northeast in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. Mola Lange has the latest from storm-ravaged Manville, New Jersey. This silent body cam footage shows the desperate attempt by police to save a two-year-old boy and his parents as rainwater flooded their New York City basement apartment. With no special equipment, an officer at one point ducks into the murky water to feel for the apartment door as a brown teddy bear floats into view. But the officer comes up empty. The door is locked. Backup from fire rescuers eventually arrived, but not in time. The family of three drowned. They were among at least 51 people who died in the remnants of Hurricane Ida, including this father of seven in New York City. Five days after the storm hit, at least four are still missing in New Jersey alone while the massive cleanup continues. This is going to be a long journey, but we're going to stay with them every step of the way. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. It's homes, it's small businesses, it's infrastructure, in some cases schools, and sadly, 27 losses of life. For many who survived, digging out has been nothing short of overwhelming. Manville, New Jersey was hit especially hard, as can be seen in this before and after image. For the Murata family, there's nothing to dig out from. Were you able to salvage anything? No, not really. You Maybe lost everything. If, yeah, a few dog pictures, that's all I can There was like two, my room. two or three pictures, yeah, old pictures. It's crazy how that survived. This is their Manville home after it exploded into flames the day after the storm. Do you consider yourself lucky? Do you consider yourself I would say, absolutely? Yeah, um, very, 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 lucky. very lucky, yes. Ahead of his trip to New York City and here to Manville, New Jersey, President Biden has declared six New Jersey counties disaster areas, making residents like these eligible for federal aid. Mola Lange, CBS News, Manville, New Jersey. And back here in the desert southwest, government officials in Mexicali say bridge repairs will continue this week. Repairs to the sunken bridge are being made four months after it was under review. Work began last week on the upper part of the bridge and on the lower part of the metal structure. The director of the Public Works Department said that at the end of October, the bridge will be ready to fully open. The popular bypass connects boulevards and streets to the border with the United States and roads in both San Felipe and San Luis, Rio, Colorado, Sonora. Two different shifts are being worked on the bridge from morning to 7 in the afternoon. The structure is being repaired and demolitions of the concrete slab have already been carried out on top. Progress is being made. We have been working since the past week and we hope that we will finish in October to open the road completely. She adds they are working quickly to finish the project to keep people safe and reduce traffic all before the next change of government in the city. That's because it will be up to the next administration to continue making repairs to deteriorated roads and bridges. Coming up next on 13 on your side, California's governor, Gavin Newsom, rolls up his sleeves on this Labor Day in an effort to collect more votes with the California recall now almost a week away. Plus, an autistic boy lost in the wilderness is found alive. It's a story you don't want to miss. Straight ahead, we'll be right back. Something big is coming to Arizona. So get ready for excitement, drama, and all the action you can handle. FanDuel Sportsbook is coming to Arizona. Sign up today and unlock $100 in free credit. 
Ashley Home Store's Labor Day sale is going on now. For a limited time, get up to 30% off select styles throughout the store. Plus, get an additional 10% off outdoor furniture. Or buy today and pay 0% interest for six years with no minimum purchase. The best Labor Day furniture deals are only available at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Hurry in or visit AshleyHomestore.com to shop and save today. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Every picture has a story. At Doctors Without Borders, it's our mission to change those stories. Because thousands of children are still dying of measles. We're there with preventative medical care. Because every day, hundreds of women die from causes related to pregnancy and childbirth. We're there to assist hundreds of thousands. Because in some countries, there are only one or two mental health professionals. We're there to provide support, counseling, and clinical care. It's your care and compassion that make this happen. Picture the impact we can have together. Hi, I'm Arizona State Treasurer Kimberly Yee. Whatever your little one dreams of becoming, a doctor, a chef, a firefighter, they're going to need a plan and savings. By opening an AZ 529 education savings plan, you can pay for the education that fits your child's unique goals. Simply visit az529.gov and start saving for their dream job, whatever that job may be. Thirteen on your side starts now. Welcome back and good evening. I'm Scott Gross. The California recall is one week from tomorrow. Democrats from every wing of the party are pulling out all the stops to ensure Governor Gavin Newsom keeps his job. This holiday weekend, Newsom himself is angling for support from union workers to get the vote so he desperately needs. Let's vote no, no, hell, no, 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 hell, no, 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 hell, no. On a sweltering Labor Day weekend, California Governor Gavin Newsom rallied the foot soldiers who fought for him before, leaning on organized labor to keep him on the job. We embrace unions. We embrace social justice, racial justice, economic justice. All of those things are at risk if we don't turn out the vote on September 14th. That's the last day to vote in the Republican-backed recall of the Democratic governor. The Los Angeles Federation of Unions says it spent $2 million to protect Newsom, calling half a million voters. How are you? Good. Union member Hugo Soto Martinez, son of immigrants, has helped knock on 60,000 doors in Los Angeles, aiming to hit 100,000 before voting ends. Organized labor has been key in making sure that this becomes a deep blue state, so the values of the state reflect the union values, and those are workers, those are immigrants, those are people who work for a paycheck in this country. National Democrats boosting Governor Newsom this holiday weekend have called the recall an attack on unions. From Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. SEIU, all the unions, we're in the house. To Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar. The Newsom campaign says unions have contributed $14 million to fight his recall. A worthy investment, believes union member Siobhan Moore-Cage. I am for Gavin Newsom. And, and so whatever I have to do to, to keep him in office, to keep the people empowered, I'm going to do that. Larry Elder doesn't represent everybody. He doesn't represent all colors and all nationalities. He may say he does, but his action speaks louder than words. Republican challenger and conservative radio host Larry Elder has slammed the union money backing the governor, especially the California Teachers Association. The number one obstacle to school choice is the teachers' union. 
was the number one funder of my opponent, Teachers Union. It's a criticism the governor brushes off, especially with just over a week to go before the election. It's about energy. It's about boots on the ground, door knocking. It's about text messaging. It's really about turnout. Labor knows how to turn out. Check this out. Search crews have found a three-year-old boy, an autistic boy, three days after he got lost in the rugged woods of Australia. CBS's Ian Lee is in London with more on the emotional rescue. It's the moment searchers prayed for. A helicopter spots Anthony Alphalic, better known as AJ, kneeling in a creek bed trying to survive. On the ground, Joy replaces days of anguish and worry as the three-year-old's family learns the news. We found him, boys. We found him. For his mother, it was overwhelming. Baby, come on. Yay, Joy. His father couldn't believe it. And I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's a miracle. Hey, boys, For three days, rescuers scoured the woods around the family home, even searching this same area twice. The autistic toddler who doesn't speak faced dehydration and nightly temperatures in the low 40s. Our first member that reached him found him kneeling in the riverbed. Uh, they put a hand on his shoulder uh, and comforted him. Now that the search party is over, please everyone come here and let's have a party. The real celebration can begin. Ian Lee, CBS News. Other than some ant bites, a diaper rash, and some scratches, AJ's family says he's doing well. The toddler took an hour and a half nap in the ambulance, and when he woke up, his parents say he devoured three slices of pizza and a banana. Good for him. Coming up, a look at your weather. It was a hot one today. We're going to continue to be quite hot. How hot will we get? I'll let you know straight ahead in your first alert forecast. Breathe a little easier with 13 on your side's air quality index. See what you should prepare for each day, every day on our local newscasts. Imperial County Air Quality Index, sponsored by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. For the 2021 California recall election, all Californians will be able to vote safely from home. Every active registered voter will receive a vote by mail ballot with a unique barcode. You can track it using Where's My Ballot, and you'll receive automatic notifications by text, email, or voice call to let you know the status of your ballot once you mail it, drop it off at your polling place, or at a drop box. Vote by mail ballots. Simple, safe, secure, counted. Learn more at vote.ca.gov. If something happened to you, what would happen to them? Their home, their education, their future. You need life insurance. And chances are, SelectQuote can help you get it for less than a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And SelectQuote found his wife Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At SelectQuote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. We found Gary, 35, a $1 million policy for only $22 a month. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Call 1-800-260-6735. That's 1-800-260-6735. At a price you can afford. Select quote. We shop, you save. Once there was a boy who did the same thing again and again. One day he was told he had autism. He got help and slowly learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. Those were the days. We cruised down drags with our favorite bands. And every night, we had standing dates with the same friends. We hustled, we bumped, we bus stopped, and we smoked all the time. If that was you then, get your lungs screened now. Visit ScreenYourLungs.org today. And a very good evening to all of you across the desert southwest. Hope you enjoyed your Labor Day today, your day off of work. Many of you had the day off. Some of us had to work today, but still okay. 
Until, okay, let's take a look outside, shall we? At the RV world of Yuma Skycam. And love being with you guys. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in. We're looking at uh, downtown Yuma right here. That is 4th Avenue South. Uh, we do have a slight breeze out there as well. You can see some of the leaves over here in the tree moving just a little bit. It's varying throughout the night, anywhere between 10 and 25 miles per hour with those gusty winds. Also, uh, we have uh, clear skies out there as well. So it's a nice night to do some scar stargazing as well. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar, show you what we have in the area. Uh, we did have a, a, a spot shower down here south of Tucson. We do have some clouds uh, to the south of us along the Baja California Peninsula, also up to the uh, East Pacific there. This was from 720 tonight as we zoom into our area right now. Yeah, we're still going to be clear. You may see a few stray clouds here and there, but we're going to be clear as we get into tomorrow. Jumping ahead, taking a look at the, uh, the current uh, doings of the, I'm going to rewind that. Now I want to show you the, the wind speeds that we have. Yeah, they're going to start to taper off right around breakfast time. They're going to get into the single digits. And they'll stay that way as we get into the afternoon. Then a big gush will come through uh, right about this time tomorrow, especially in western Imperial County. Again, uh, winds uh, tomorrow night, anywhere between uh, 10 and 20 miles per hour, much like tonight. Our air quality index in the valley brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Still very good all the way through. Uh, from the north to the south, uh, Mexicali still uh, with unhealthy conditions down there. Jumping ahead and taking a look at our current temperatures that we have throughout the area. Still quite warm tonight. Imperial at 94, Salton City 93, Calipatria 92, El Centro 91, Holtville, you're at 90. And as we skip over the county and state line into Arizona, much of the same temperatures over here, a little bit cooler in some places. If you can call 89 in Yuma cool and 87 in San Luis, Summerton is 88, the foothills currently at 90, Welton and Tacna at 92, and Quartzsite there in uh, southern La Paz County is at 94. I want to show you this amazing viewer photo sent in by Susanna Meza. Just absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for sending this in, Susanna. Uh, she calls this a Yuma sunset. She captured this after the storms last week. After the storms left, she was able to capture these. You've got the purples, you've got the orange, you've got the, the yellows. Just a fantastic job. Thank you so much. And if you have a photo, we certainly want to see it as well. Scan the QR code, and once you do that, you'll be taken right to the weather photo gallery. You can upload your photo, add your name as well. I'll peel it off a little bit later for a future uh, forecast. Or you can find me on social media as well. Even drop it off on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Our Metrocast to help you plan tonight into tomorrow morning. Mostly clear tonight, 88 around midnight. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, mostly sunny and 84 at 6 a.m. And tomorrow at high noon, we'll be at 97 and sunny. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. We're going to be hot. For the foreseeable future, our average is 103 degrees for this time of year. We're going to be up to 108 tomorrow, as high as 110 as we get into the weekend. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. A little hotter in the valley than it's going to be around Yuma. 109 tomorrow, hot, dry, breezy as we get into the weekend. Again, uh, be careful out there. Temperatures could reach all the way up to 111 degrees. Next on 13 on your side, it's a Monday, and that means it's time for my top five prep plays from last week. And this week, I've got a little surprise for you. Boost and Cricket charge more for unlimited 5G. Metro does it. Introducing the big 5G upgrade. Just 25 bucks a month gets you unlimited 5G and a free 5G smartphone. That's half the price for one line of unlimited 5G smartphone data. Plus a free Samsung Galaxy 5G when you switch and trade in. All with the power of the T-Mobile 5G network. Rule your day with 5G. Only at Metro. Great news. Houston's Yuma Furniture's Labor Day sale is held over. Fresh looks, fantastic savings on beautiful Lazy Boy sofas, sectionals and Lazy Boy reclining furniture, dining sets and bedroom furniture. Save on over 40 mattresses in stock with same-day delivery. Ashley Chime Queen mattress, just $5.99, plus five years interest-free. Remember, savings like these don't happen every day. The Labor Day sale is held over, but not for long, at Houston's Yuma Furniture on Avenue. When Subway open, they change the fast food game. But sometimes you gotta refresh to be fresh. Welcome to the Eat Fresh Refresh, where there's so much new, some say you can't fit in one ad. I say, we're talking a new All-American Club, deli-style oven roasted turkey, and... Oh, that's a new steak and cheese. Oh yeah, I knew that. That's the one with the new seasoning. And that was the new MVP Parmesan vinaigrette. Right, which makes the next level foot... 
Hold up. Is that what's over? Wait, I'm out of time. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we built our sportsbook app for Arizona with more, more. More ways to bet, more ways to fund your account, more ways to cash in, and more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 24 hours. You want more Arizona? You got it. FanDuel is coming to Arizona. Right now, get $100 in free credit just for signing up. Here's what you need to know about the September 14th recall. Voting yes elects an anti-vaccine Trump Republican. Voting no keeps Gavin Newsom fighting the pandemic based on science, compassion, and common sense. And here's the thing. If you don't vote, we could have an anti-vax Republican governor of California. So do your part to stop the spread. Every voter will receive a ballot in the mail. Mail your ballot or vote in person by September 14th. Vote no on the Republican recall. Week three of the prep football season across the Imperial Valley is in the books. Some Yuma schools also kicked off their seasons last week as well. We've got plenty of highlights to share with you in this week's edition of Top Plays of the Week. I've actually got six instead of five for you. Play number six is the Calexico Bulldogs' David Esquire slinging to Andres Ramirez. And Ramirez with a nice change of direction into the end zone for the score. Number five will come from Yuma High. And it's going to be Genoa Metals pass. A little too high for Julian Goldsboro. It's the old-fashioned tip drill. Hands off to Trevor Brown's Jeremiah McLean. Number four, Vincent Memorial sophomore sensation, Jacobo Elias with the best Russell Wilson impersonation so far. Elias rolls to his right, finds the open receiver for the first down. Scots win this game 14-12. Number three, back to Yuma High, Genoa Heaves it deep and finds Manuel Garcia, who makes the catch, then loses the ball, but Garcia able to jump on the loose pigskin. This was an incredible game. Crims fell 41-38. Number two, who let the dogs out? It's Calexico senior Julian De Leon around the side, and the Bulldog outruns the Hornets on his way to the touchdown. Calexico wins 27 nothing. Number one play from last week. Check out Brawley's Isaiah Young, the senior busting tackles in Indio. Then it's off to the races. Brawley gets their first win of the year, 48-13. Young only had six carries, but tallied 113 yards and three scores. Those are my top plays of the week. To Major League Baseball and the playoff chase heating up Dodgers in St. Louis. L.A. trailing San Fran by a game in the NL West. It'll be Mookie Betts hit an RBI single on a ground ball to left field. Trey Turner scores 1-0 Dodgers. Still in the first, Chris Taylor. He'll put a charge into this one. It's going to be a two-run homer to left center. Corey Seager scores 4-0 Dodgers. L.A. goes on to win in St. Louis 5-1. However, San Francisco also won. Dodgers still trail the Giants by a game. Afternoon baseball at Wrigley Field. Why? Because it concerns the Padres. Cubs and Reds. Reds trail the Padres by a half game in the playoff hunt. Bottom of the first two on for the Cubs. Ian Happ. Happ with the long ball over the Ivy in left field. It's a three-run jack for Happ. Cubs up 3 nothing to the top of the six now. Reds with the bases loaded. Former Diamondback is Dribble Cabrera at the plate. And he's hit by the pitch. The bean ball forces in a run. Cubs up 3-1. Next batter, still bases loaded. And check this out. A wild pitch. And here comes Nick Castellanos from third trying to score. And he'll just be safe. 3-2 now the score. But it would be the Cubs hanging on by a score of 4-3. That actually helps the Padres extend their lead over the Reds by a full game without even playing. Now, over the weekend, the AWC men's soccer team defeated the Chandler Gilbert Coyotes. The Matadors are now 4-0 in the season. The women's match was canceled due to COVID issues with the other team. Both Arizona Western teams return home tomorrow night when they host the Mesa Thunderbirds. Coming up, some Southern California health workers head to the ocean for some well-deserved healing. The story straight ahead. Since 1981, play today.
It's a fact. We use our internet and TV more than ever, with most of us spending nearly seven hours a day online. So it's no wonder thousands of families are switching to Spectrum. Because most families have up to eight connected devices, which means they need even more speed. Switch to Spectrum Internet and get the fastest starting speeds for the price. 100 megabits for just $44.99 a month. With a free modem and free security suite included. Call 833-621-4499. When it comes to TV, we're watching more than ever. In fact, 80% of us watch TV every day. Spectrum TV lets you catch all your favorite sports, news, and more live. Plus, download the free Spectrum TV app and watch on your devices. Switch to Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-621-4499. The fact is, Spectrum has the best services at the best price. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. We'll even buy out your current contract. Call 833-621-4499. It's safe to say that a great day's work starts with a great night's sleep. So no matter what kind of job you have, Denver Mattress has the right mattress for you. So shop the extended Labor Day sale today because the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Check out the Summit Firm, now only $299.99. Or save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup. Score two Doctor's Choice pillows for only $69.99, plus seven years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. This drug remains approved by the FDA. If you or a loved one regularly took Zantac and were later diagnosed with cancer, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Potential cancers include bladder cancer, colon cancer, kidney cancer, stomach cancer, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer. Do not stop taking a prescribed medication without first consulting with your doctor. Discontinuing a prescribed medication without your doctor's advice can result in injury or death. Call 1-800-670-2995. Before we go tonight, multiple waves of this pandemic have caused a swell of stress and trauma for our frontline health care workers. For some, the best way to decompress is to catch a different kind of wave. Here's CBS's Carter Evans. First time surfers usually spend most of their time tumbling in the white water. But with each wipeout, these 10 Southern California health care workers are washing away pandemic stress. The pressure is okay. Nurse Daniel Shimalevsky works 12 hour shifts at Torrance Memorial Hospital. It's been exhausting, physically and mentally. Every day after work, I catch myself thinking about work and the patients and, you know, what we could have done better. His prescription today? Hi, my name is Dan. Surf therapy. It's almost like six to eight months of therapy in about two or three hours. Therapist and surfer Kevin Souza is leading the session. We're constantly projecting to the future what may or may not happen, and that's where anxiety lives. And when you're paddling through a wave, there, there's no You are time right for that. here, and you are right now. The wipeouts are soon followed by smiles and cheers. <laughs> and before long, these new students are starting to become surfers. And you still got this big smile on your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've done working like three 12 hours in a row. Now you look pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's something about being out there in the waves right there. It just, just takes away from everything. Turns out a turbulent ocean can calm the mind. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles. Let's take another look at your forecast. It's going to be a hot one. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be 108 degrees. Summer is only a couple weeks. Yeah, it's going to be at the uh, September equinox is on the 22nd. That'll be the official end of summer. Now you can see uh, we're going to be very hot. It's Wednesday, 106 on Thursday, as I should say. It's just going to be dry, hot, sunny, lots of sunshine. So be careful out there, especially when you're going on the walks. If you're working outside, drink plenty of fluids out there as well. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. Take a look at what we have there. Again, very, very hot tomorrow. We'll be at 109 on Tuesday. Even hotter on Wednesday, all the way up to 110. We will remain hot, remain dry. We'll also be very breezy as well. We'll have clear conditions. Very hot, though. <laughs> Let's just look at Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It's going to be 109, 111, and 110. Definitely a great weekend to get out to the ocean, to maybe do some surfing, maybe get out to Lake Martinez, where we had this, a story on that today. Uh, but stay cool, stay inside, drink plenty of fluids, make sure that AC is going 
as well. We've got some very hot days coming ahead. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight and sticking with 13 on your side. I'm Scott Gross. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Stephen Colbert is next.